So within a few days only we went from absolutely no leaves to leaves on the trees, on most trees now, uh, within three days pretty much. It uh, was super cold like 6 degrees last week and now we have 24, 25 degrees, absolutely crazy. Everything is exploding, cows are out on pasture, started to rotate them um, and this morning you see here to my left. Uh, Hi Danny. You wanna come here? Wait. Here to my left is where the geese have been um, now all spring. Oh, you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, silly piece of wood. Um, the geese have been here, and as soon as you would come here, they would attack you. We have one male, the white one we bought, and three female. And now, seems like they're. Just a second, look at I'm talking to the people. Yeah. And, and now you don't see them at all and the reason is I, I heard baby geese this morning we have had one goose that has been consistently sitting on the nest and um, two other mother geese who have um, been laying eggs but not really been sitting but now if you look here they're all back in the corner the white one is guarding and all the three mothers are sitting there and taking care of the geese. Now I will have to put some feet there and some water um, so they can really make it through the first days and then we'll put them on fresh grass ASAP. But it's just amazing how um, they take care. They look at this as their family, not just that one goose who has been sitting on the nest. I have no idea how many baby geese there are, if they're done hatching or anything. I really don't want to um, disrupt them right now so I'm just gonna take some feed here in a little bit and water so that the little geese can reach because they they really don't have um, they can't reach the bucket with water that the big geese can reach you wanna drive the tractor? Huh? no don't pick that that's garlic that's supposed to grow you see our garlic that's growing really well here um, that's one of my favorite crops here because it starts growing pretty much uh, when the snow has melted already and it's one of these early um, crops that even if we have such cold weather here in Sweden sometimes unpredictable we can have summer days with 10 degrees uh, and rain then these are still growing and doing just fine and we have fresh garlic now uh, all the way and um, we eat the green leaves all the way till we harvest in July and then we have the garlic all the way until now. We are still eating off of the garlic that we had last year. It's really nice. Let's check on the cows and the calf that you haven't seen for a few days. Um, I've put them out on pasture yesterday and starting to rotate them now. Look at mommy. 
Daniel, no. what do you want to do? Huh? You want to drive on the tractor? Danny, what do you want to do? Daddy, mama, daddy. I'm going to daddy, mama, daddy. You're shedding your winter coat as well. That's right. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for these mm -hmm. daily moves again, um, and I have been too. It's the most satisfying thing to move these cows daily onto fresh pasture. Now, there is a lot of confusion about this because people say like, oh yeah, we have done strip grazing and, and all these kind of things, but this is not strip grazing. Even though some principles are probably very similar, the thing is, um, when people ask how much do you give the cows every day, it's not like I have, let's say, one huge field and I separate it into 20 small fields and then I just move them on and on because right now the grass is very short it's baby grass it's spring so obviously um, they need to have a bigger area because they will eat more of this thin grass now when the grass is this tall the space will be much smaller because I only give them as much as they eat on one day that is the key people who have tried to give them um, for a couple days or move them once a week that has not the same effect it's still better than just one big field but it does not have the same effect so I give them just as much as they can eat on one day so the size of the paddock just varies from day to day with every day the grass is getting taller and if I come to a part of pasture that's really good yep the baby cow that's right then I'll just make it smaller and so here you can see now where they have been eating since yesterday and where the fence goes um, just how it's greener there hey. And um, this afternoon at 3 o'clock, they'll be moved on. Cattle are also shedding their winter coat. I am feeding them some kelp here, which they have been digging into since yesterday. Um, I just love that. And Justin Rhodes the other day made a really cool point um, in a video. Um, he's giving his cattle a lot of different um, mineral choices, and they will really take whatever they feel is necessary that they're not getting off the pasture then that is going to be added with the manure back to the pasture so whatever part um, is lacking minerals on his pasture will be um, healed by the cows that's a you know I thought he explained that really well and so when they eat the kelp you know it's going to be added back um, on the field here this is Bella Biffen's mother and she will have her calf very soon her udder is really full We're super busy uh, because you know it had been cold for so long and snow for so long and now everything is exploding everything needs to be done at once we're behind on our garden again like almost every spring um, gonna do a lot of stuff there also gonna show you guys I got a new cedar that's really cool and um, yeah more videos coming up What's your favorite part about spring? Um, we can have a fun time and, and we can go to, and we can have a fun time when you suck and hit me at school. You can have fun when your brothers are at school? Mm -hmm.